the Betfred Chase is next. This is a three mile one furlong listed race over the mild night course, and it's listed. And let's take a look at their field. Dragons Cry at the top, Leon Van Rensburg, Saltello, Manor, Darren Thompson, Look Sharp, Martin Leedham, Tower Amlets, Graham Clutterbuck, Charming Woman, Craig Beckwith, and Lavere, Panariva, David Robertson. Just six then in this. And away they go. Heading towards the first. Which is a plain one. And they're all over it okay, although Charming Woman was a little bit untidy at the back. Time to make up for that though. 16 more fences to take. This next one will be the second of them. And all safely over that one. Dragons Cry and Tower Hamlets disputing the lead. A three length gap back to Look Sharp in third with Lever Panariva on that one's outside fourth. And then Saltzada Manor. And finally Charming One as they pass the big screen. Over the fence will be the last on the next circuit. It's only a short run in here. And Dragon's Cry is about a nick to the good. We're on Tower Hamlets in second, and then Look Sharp is back in third. We're racing an Indian file now. Lever Panariva fourth. Salt Cellar Manor fifth. And the back marker Charming One. As they make their way away from the down the big crowd chewing them on despite the rain and Dragon's Cry is two lengths clear of Tower Hamlets who's two lengths clear of Look Sharp who's two lengths clear of Lavar Pira Riva we've got South Salomon all for company and then another two lengths back to Charming Woman at the back and complete the long one to the fourth over nicely look shot was a little bit slower it took a long time in the air dragons cry and tower hamlets well, first and second and they've pulled four clear of look sharp now as they get over the fifth again look sharp wasn't that sharp had it uh, charming woman continues to be the back marker but dragons cry leading by two the tower hamlets in second as they get over the sixth the very pillar reaver has jumped up into third uh, look sharp is fourth South Cellar Manor fifth and Charming Woman continues to be the back market. In order not change that much throughout the race with the exception of Look Sharp shuffling back a little bit. And as a fall right at the back, Charming Woman's gone. So she made a mistake early and didn't get away with making a second and has departed the race to leave us with just five. And Dragon's Cry is in the lead from Tower Hamlets in second and then South Cellar Manor. Look Sharp and Lavea Panariva together as they get over the 8th. As they all successfully negotiate. Dragon's Cry continuing to lead. Leon looking for his first winner of the week. As they get over the 9th. All safely over that one. With Dragon's Cry in front. Tower Hamlets in second. Gap of four lengths then. To the other three who are virtually together. Dragon's Cry is going to lead them over the next. That's the tenth. And that will be the final fence on the next circuit. As they swing out now for the final circuit of the track, and Dragon's Cry is the leader by probably three now to Tower Hamlets in second, who's got three lengths on Lavere Panariva, who's third again. Saltzella Manor on the outside is just fourth, and Look Sharp on the inside is fifth of the five that remain with Charming Woman having departed. A few fences a go, but it's Dragon's Cry who continues to show the way. Heads towards the next. Between these fences, and Dragon's Cry driven into it. It's over it nicely. Good jump in second by Tower Hamlet, Saltzella Manor third, Lavere Panariva fourth. Look sharp, just being nudged along to keep up with the rest of them. They're starting to 
Bond Shop a little bit now as they get over the 12th. But Dragon's Cry has still got a lead of two lengths. Well, Tower Hamlet's in second, then Levere, Pellerie, and Saltzella Manor. Look sharp, the back marker as they get over the 13th. Uh, Saltzella Manor was the one who was a little bit slow at that one. But Dragon's Cry continuing to maintain this two length lead from Tower Hamlet in second. Lavey Panariva looks to be going well in third, then South Salamanor and Look Sharp as they get over the 14th. And they're all over the 14th, okay, with just three more to take then now. And suddenly Dragon's Cry's gone for home and he's shot five clear. It's Dragon's Cry is now five or six clear from Tower Hamlet in second. Lavey Panariva and South Salamanor then Look Sharp. They're all trying to close on this lead and then the race is on in earnest now with three to jump and Dragon's Cry over to third last in the lead from Tower Ramlet, Saltzalam and all look sharp and then Lever Pellerivo looks to be going best of all a minute they go is now the back mark and they're coming down to the second last and it's Dragon's Cry who's led all the way he's going to lead them into the second last fence from Tower Ramlet's in second look sharp jumps it well in third then the Saltzalam and all Lever Pellerivo and it's Dragon's Cry in front coming down towards the final fence now then Dragon's Cry in the lead from look sharp who's just poked his head into second Tower Ramlet's is third here comes Saltzalam and all on the outside down to the final fence they go and Dragon's Dragon's Cry is hanging on in front. Dragon's Cry over the but a better jump by Salta Lamanor and Salta Lamanor hits the front. Levere Pellerivo's got nowhere to go. It's Salta Lamanor who's in the lead. And up towards the line, Salta Lamanor wins it from Tower. Dragon's Cry, Levere Pellerivo and Tower Amnes look sharp. Was fifth. And I think Levere Pellerivo may have been a little bit unlucky, but I'm not so sure as it would have got to Salta Lamanor anyway. So another winner for Darren Thompson. And the Salt Cellar Manor is the winner with Aaron Thompson. Dragon's Cry second for Leon Van Rensburg. Levere, Panariva, David Robertson third. Tower Amlets for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Look Sharp was fifth.